Assalamu alaikum, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Um, Honorable Minister IT, uh, Chancellor and Vice Chancellor of Sir Sayyid University, uh, respected guests, whole NIB team, um, and Park 100 team. Uh, it's, it's really a great uh, occasion to formally announce and inaugurate and launch the Ideas Bank competition. This is really uh, an, uh, an effort which has been a long time in waiting. Uh, you've already heard the details about the bank and the competition, so I'm not going to go into that. Uh, I will start talking more about how the, the, the program is constructed or is, uh, what was the reason behind uh, this Ideas Bank competition, how we're going to judge it, how the ideas will be uh, inputted and evaluated. So uh, at this time, it's a good, good way to take an analogy of a seed, as since I was already mentioned this, uh, an idea is nothing but a seed, or equivalent to a seed. A seed is it, it, it seems a very small item, or usse uh, from the sea to the fruit is a long journey and that journey uh, includes it, it involves a lot of steps and a huge number of other resources that is required to to be able to get a fruit a decent fruit from a, from the seed it has to go through germination sprouting seeding planting flowers uh, full 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 tree and finally a fruit. But in the meantime, there are many, many resources that are required. And no, and no matter how good a seed it is, without all these resources, you can never get a fruit. Or, so if you, you considering the same analogy, yeah, we have an idea. An idea is, is just equivalent to a seed, but for that idea to materialize into a, either a product or a service, you need to have help from subject matter expertise. Then you need to have uh, methods of maturation of your ideas. Try to take idea from concepts to like it, expand it. Then you got to do all the necessary test and verification of those uh, concepts. Then you got to scale it from the pilot plan to a full production, mass production level. Then there are all bunch of uh, very uh, manufacturing techniques that you can use to to go on to that. Then all, this is all the technical part, but this is, people think that is usually the only part that's required to make a product. Not really, half of the other product cycle are non-technical, financing. Without that, nothing can work. Marketing and sales uh, as, a, as a massive area, which people don't have, uh, don't we underestimate in, term, in terms of getting an idea to fruition. Business operations and human resources. As since I've mentioned, we have an idea of idea bank uh, two years ago, but we had almost 35 people by now. We had a lot of people, a lot of moving parts to get that program working. And then of course, you have to form a company, you have to have a lot of legal and corporate affairs expertise. All these experts that you see around this, this donut are will require each one of the sector, each one of the circle requires are, is a pool of many, many talents. And, and in fact, the, the most expensive part of any idea to fruition is the thing in the donuts. What we have done, uh, what we have done through uh, the president's vision, Hassan Saab's vision, and then we have also formed a group called Park 100, where we have taken the diaspora. We have a lot of very experienced Pakistanis who have spend that lifetime in Pakistan and abroad. And what we want to do, they're all passionate and want to give back and to the, help the country. So what we are trying to do is to provide all the services that are essential, take the idea from, from idea from to fruition. In, in this donut, we are providing that facility and uh, uh, resources to help this idea bank together. So, in order to develop this whole process, what we did was we, we had an idea, we are launching this idea bank program to take a, let's take a sample of six sectors and take ideas from there and then start maturation. We are, we are not only helping develop the ideas, but also de helping developing this process and this whole ecosystem, which will be, which will be the most valuable thing that we have will, will remain for different kinds of projects. So 
uh, Dr. Rabi has already showed you a multi-tiered uh, idea competition that will be uh, ho holding in that respect. And in order to do that, what we have done is to, to make sure we have a, a, a proper and a, a method and uh, equitable scoring criteria by which we can uh, 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 score all the ideas in a proper manner. And here is a list of uh, 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 items that we will be looking for, idea maturity, creativity, relevance to the addressing the uh, national problems, uh, maturity level, and things like that. And here on the right-hand side is the maximum scoring or the weighting factor, as it were, to each one of these criteria. Uh, and what, what we, are, when, we, when you will be submitting ideas, we'll be looking at each one of these criteria, each one of these criteria to make sure you, you, you're addressing. And not only, to, and what we have done is to facilitate uh, this, we've actually created the form which, which will guide you to answer these questions one after the time. So it will be easier for people who are generating the ideas. So question is, how do you submit the idea? Now, being such a large program, we wanted to move away from uh, paper and make this entire process digital. So the, the idea submittal program is entirely online. You have to go to this uh, NIB website, nibpk.org, uh, and you will be taken guided through the links to submit the ideas. There's also a very detailed uh, guide on that website, which says it will give you a step-to-step -step, uh, guide to show how to step, uh, uh, input your ideas. In addition, we are also having conducting three training sessions. You are highly recommended to at least at least one of them, uh, October second, October 9th, and and sixteenth. This will facilitate you, guide you exactly how to input your ideas. And um, uh, again, uh, as Dr. Rabi mentioned, remember the closure date is November. Seventh. So, what do you get when you are successful? As Hassan Sahib said, every person who is participating in my books is a winner, hundred percent winner. You know, uh, but yeah, okay, when you when you run a competition, you have to give some prizes just to make make sure everybody. So, we have had we have more more than a two and a half million rupees in cash prizes. In my books, again, the more valuable thing is this exclusive time that we have asked for to, from top CEOs, ministers, and other industry leaders to give that time to the entrepreneurs, which is extremely valuable. Plus, we the pool of, of ecosystem that I talked about, which has more than 300 people worldwide, really, really top-notch experts. You can't find, you know, just creme de la creme, have, have enormous experience. You have... Uh, you have access to that completely, which is really, really valuable. Plus, you have access to the Pakistan 100 Accelerator Program. Um, then these pool of judges, these highly uh, talented pool, we have already uh, over 200 right now. Uh, we, are, we will soon be reaching about 300 of them. These are have cumulatively about 3,000 3, years of professional experience. This is not a typo, let me then emphasize. It's 3,000 years of collective professional experience. So this is a powerhouse of experience that we are bringing to the table uh, for the first time. I think, uh, and thanks to all the uh, experienced people within Pakistan and the diaspora who is really very passionately trying to get, help this thing. And these are all representatives from industry, academia, government, finance, marketing, legal, all aspects. And several of them have got have set up industries in Silicon Valley and abroad, have very powerful demonstrated incubation experience. So this is, this is real, real good stuff. And they are, not only that, they're also volunteering over 3,000 hours collectively. Again, just imagine 3,000 hours is almost... Uh, year and a half equivalent in terms of that time of these top-notch experts collectively uh, providing mm, help and guidance to all the individuals. So of course, judges will have to have some uh, code of conduct and uh, each of them have to be completely in, independent and impartial. We will make sure that no, uh, no idea contribution, um, the judges will not have any uh, direct uh, benefit from uh, uh, from these ideas, they will not be either 
directly or indirectly contributing to the idea. So they will be completely impartial. They will have no ties to, no family member ties to these uh, entrepreneurs. And not only that, we'll have an upfront disclosure for all these uh, judges to make sure you know, they, they abide by these code of conduct. I think that's basically, uh, that summarizes the, the way we're going to conduct and uh, sub, accept the ideas, judge them. And, uh, and again, I'd like to emphasize this first round is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Uh, and we're looking at the first sectors, but we want to make this a continuous process. We hope to have at least every six months a new sector focus and keep doing this. And uh, we need your help. And, uh, uh, and I, will, I will encourage every each and every Pakistani from anywhere to use this powerful tool that we, we are bringing to the table and uh, make this make Pakistan great. Pakistan's in the back. Thank you, Dr. Azam, uh, Minister Information Technology and Telecom, Janab Amin Udak Sayyid Saab, here for him. So, I request from Sanya that please, uh, Minister Saab, to introduce Karai. Uske Baad, our question and answer ka session continue. You can ask your online question on YouTube. And I will also give you the answer, inshallah, and you will also give us the answer, and our team is also there. So, we'll continue answering the questions, but after hearing from Honorable Minister, جناب انیمیل الحق سید صاحب